Hi, it's Subble 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox. Today I'm bringing you some footage from a recent BGS war, uh, the conclusion of an epic war between uh, 7th Legion and Blop. In a system, uh, we managed to get the conflict down to the last day, coin flip, who, who won that day would win the war. Um, so we won two days of the war, they won two days of the war, and it came down to the absolute last day. Absolutely insane scenario. Uh, really good fun. We really did try our best and push it really, really hard. However, we were outnumbered by absolutely ridiculous margins. Um, the difference in player count was amazing. Uh, unfortunately, we did have a big ally pull out because they were told by another group not to, they weren't allowed to involve themselves or some such. Some, I'm not 100% sure how it went down because it's between between them, uh, you know, but from what I understand, they were going to help out 7th Legion and then they decided they weren't going to help out 7th Legion because someone else intervened. Um, I did see a block member in open and they ran away, even though I had no shields. Um, I'd just come out of a conflict zone, jumped the guy, he stripped my shields but still ran out of the fight. Um, I was using phasing, so maybe that scared him off, but... We went ham bony on the last day. I don't think we could have done more. Um, I did 31 million credits in bonds. Skeeby did 51 million credits in bonds. We made over half a billion in wing missions. Um, the guys in 7th Legion went absolutely ham. Um, just me, Skeeby and Owl managed to get the Dark Marauders really in terms of combat into the top 20 of groups for combat. This is right at the start of the season so it was really easy to track and um, Rob and 7th Legion got even higher than we did and um, yeah it came down to the last day and Blop put themselves into 5th overall in combat and pipped us we don't think by a lot uh, because of the scores on the board it was insane absolutely insane I don't think we could have done much more um it's such a shame that the group that pledged to help 7th Legion pulled out because the only way you can take on a BGS monster like Blop or an IED or you know some of the conglomerate groups is form an allegiance and get groups of your own to help out. Um, you know, we the Dark Marauders always you know worked with diplomacy to keep our space because ultimately we were a large anarchy bubble and. Uh, that was easy for other groups to come in and destroy but anarchy systems are valuable to a lot of people so it was always you know a good negotiating tool you know people like having the anarchy systems nearby where they can clean bounties off collect materials without getting bounties themselves you know anarchy systems have amazing useful things um but we the dark roarers are definitely pledged to helping groups maintain their liberty and uh, helping them free themselves from these tyrannical larger groups. Which I know some people are going to say that's hypocritical considering we do PPI. But we're a very, very small squadron and we do PPI insurance where we annoy people's BGS for money. And honestly, we're talking about a few wing missions. We're not talking about the Earth here. You know, it's not an equatable thing. Um, some of these larger groups, they really, really do treat BGS threats as like you know their go-to standard of threat you know do what we say or we'll crush your bgs is commonly heard to a lot of small groups around the game and it is about time a band of small groups got together and maybe formed a pact a defense pact uh, or something you know to stand up to these larger groups because when you've got a group like blop uh, they've probably crushed now four or five i think it's five or six maybe player factions and taking their home systems you know uh, and even if all six of those player factions banded together they would still be heavily heavily outnumbered um, that is the problem being a small player faction in Elite Dangerous in the universe uh, you're not affording any protection the only thing you will happen is you can't get kicked out of your home system so you'll be like low down on the leaderboard but at least you won't totally cease to exist as a minor faction. There are many minor factions out there where player factions that have been pushed into bottom place in their home system and are just kept there uh, by people who are quite spiteful about things. I mean it is quite funny the Dark Marauders BGS is still under attack and um, we gave it up like 
six months ago now and yet people are still attacking it um yeah it's really funny because we kind of just watching it um get chipped away at but we've given it up so you know i'm very surprised people are still taking the time to go through it and do it but each to their own um we've moved onwards and upwards with our ppi campaigns uh we're trying well me and a few others are helping seventh legion try and recapture their homeland or at least we'll be trying again at some point no doubt but seventh legion needs to work on getting some allies on board so they need to get numbers uh, because bgs is a numbers game and that's sadly the way it goes um you know the plucky small group is not going to win many times but you know you can do a lot of damage to a large player group you can put them on the ropes you can scare them you can trigger a lot of elections that sort of thing but ultimately it's numbers it's a pure pure numbers game and uh you know there are a few people out there that you know are really good bgs gurus and all of them will tell you that ultimately it comes down to it it's a numbers game um you know you can have the right strategy you can do the right things you can really really trouble your opponents but ultimately if you haven't got the numbers you're not going to win still we may have lost but half a billion credits is half a billion credits and scooby and hero and rob did get this kill on a block guy in open a rare blob sighting anyway that's all thanks for watching